afternoon, everybody. Mayday here. I'm getting set for a few more playthroughs in the TGC Tours World Cup of Design. We are getting down to the nitty gritty as we have two days and nine hours until deadline, and most everybody, um, which actually is a little bit surprising the way these contests go. Uh, most everybody is already in. Usually we see that final week, especially final day or two rush, and we are down to three guys left to publish, and at least the rumblings are we could get a course a day the next three days. Uh, the three guys left to publish, at least in the main field, so we'll be interested to see how this deadline dash sorts out, but we have 29 of our 32 main field courses already in the books. Uh, we'll be playing three more of those this afternoon. Might get to a couple of uh, the side contest courses as well. We'll see how it all shakes out, but you can check them all here. What we have for you. And again, these all are showcase playthroughs. I am one of the judges in the contest. However, these are not judging playthroughs. And uh, we're more kind of showcasing the the awesome work uh, that these guys have put out. And uh, again, as I've said a few times, <laughs> I, I, I'll reiterate, um, I mean, just top to bottom, and even the guys who didn't get in the main field but are participating in the nine-hole side contest, uh, it's all just been incredible work put out of the, by the field. I mean, we've, I mean, when this is all said and done, we're going to have north of 40 courses for the community to enjoy, the TGC Tours community, and those guys will be the real winners. Um, so here we go, Tiamo. This is out of Group H. Q. Quinlan Roach is the designer of record here and in a quick short order we got all of group H in they were the last group to have any publishes and now they are one of six groups that is all full uh, Sendre just published last night we'll get to his course uh, next Harrier Harrier Creek um D. Dix has already published. Grovey's already published. We're getting set to play Q's. Hey, Curtis, later on today, we'll play uh, Baculum Trail. As long as we're not hard up for time, we'll make sure we get to that later on today as well. So, Tiamo, let's uh, give this a run. And Q, the designer here, uh, I believe in terms of publishes, uh, maybe the least experienced designer in the field. I think this is only his third publish. Uh, but he burst on the scene with Asylum. Uh, then he won, um, the last Design League, uh, contest right before the start of the tournament. And that's how he got in. And, uh. Let's take a look at the plot before we uh, really dive into this. So we are in, I'm guessing, either desert or step. I almost think this might be, this might be desert, just judging by the bare ground texture. It's a little different. I, step's a little more red, as I recall. But set inside a, a fictitious city. See that running along there? Certainly got a lot of design features working for it. Right in a little valley. And I'm sure Q will be able to explain at some point 
but as is usually the case, he's got secret tunnels and Easter eggs and stuff that has some deeper meaning, but I'll be damned if I can figure it out. Q obviously has been paying attention to the playthroughs as he starts us on a par 5. He knows how I feel about the opening hole birdie as, as it pertains to your chances in the contest. We so far have only one opening hole eagle. And the spot... Despite missing the green, we still have a chance to get home, but it is, uh, that's a tiny little target. Test the accuracy of your, your irons right off the bat. Yeah, that was always the safe miss. We'll stay there. left ourselves a testy little one to start. Hey there, Terry. How goes it? And bird emoji back at you. I know. Don't care. Alrighty, easy peasy, opening birdie. We go from very gettable par four to very long downhill par three. But you gotta get on the proper level. Downhill downwind. I think I'm going to cook a six iron. Uh, it needed to get further left. It is going to get further left. <laughs> Hi. Do you ever work, Terry? Captain is stuck on layover. Alright, and we... <laughs> well, if your employees are anything like you, you, they need all the supervising they can get. some very geometric shapes here on some of these bunkers. Definitely not like classic, you know, Rainer style, but some definite shape to them. It's gonna go, gotta go, gotta go right now. <laughs> oh wow. You guys are too damn much, you know that? This is another one of those. Can I? 
Oh yeah, I can drive this. Should I? Eh. Uh, um. Will I? Yeah. Keep coming. Oh, no. That almost rode the... If that stays in the fairway, look at where it's running. If that stays in the fairway. I have not left myself an easy second, though. Yeah, there was almost no way to stop that ball near the hole. But at least it left an uphill birdie putt. This is Q's course. It's number 13, which is right behind door number one. Usually you find the Zonk right behind door number one, but in this case we find something different. <laughs> well, that's the only place that could possibly contain yours, Terry. tried. <laughs> we tried. Semi-blind. That's another one of those. Can I? Yeah. Should I? Yeah. Will I? In this case, in this wind, Actually, no. Well, that ain't exactly a gimme of a leave there. Oh, that is a... Just... That is a pretty, pretty look right there. Hey, Scoot. Yeah, that one I just... I didn't feel like I could get home, and if I can't get home, I'm probably not going to try it. However, this is going to have to really take that ridge. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, we've got to go on early here. back in the middle of the screen. Par 5. Long par 5. 
Joe, how goes it? Yeah, okay, so three shot her. Maybe if we had a tailwind, I might be able to go driver, driver, and get there in two. Oh, I ended up on the wrong side of the hog's back. Uh oh. A cheekily placed bunker right where I want to hit this layup. <laughs> Funny, but not nice. <laughs> and she ain't even here to defend herself. Well, she might be here, but she can't quite defend herself at the moment. <laughs> yeah, you could say she has her hands full. All right, Curtis, enjoy. This putt is lightning fast. <laughs> there aren't many putts that scare me. That one, uh, that one made me wee a little. Semi-blind tee shot back up the hill. Really enjoyed the land movement here so far. Ooh, slow down, slow down. Hey, Q. How goes it? Uh, he is in the chat right now. Q made this. Out of group H. So Q, do I even want to know what those uh, tunnels are? Hey, Matty. Yeah, for sure, for sure, Joe. They're not quite uh, <laughs> tunnels of love. They're not quite uh, full-on rainer, but they, they are certainly geometric. par four, but big time downhill. <laughs> Maddie, that is so true. Truer words. 
I mean, there's a reason we call it Dirty Ankle. Oh, that one's leaking. That one leaked on me. Oh, got a great kick, though. Boy, did that get a great kick. Even if it gets off the back of the green. Would you expect anything different though? I mean I'd be I'd be more scared if Terry weren't making jokes like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cooled off a little bit there, but still minus four at the turn. Well, I, I, I'd argue Trail Ducker. I don't know if there is a, is a group that isn't stacked, but yes. Uh, G and H are very, very strong. Start both nines on a par five. Really like this raised green sight. Tends to wholly you're least satisfied with, ironically. I like how this green sight's kind of benched up in the hill. Really makes me think twice about going for it, especially to this front hole location. But it's like, okay, I don't really want to bail out here because that's no gimme. If I lay back here... Eh, I mean, where do I lay up? Do I go back here, try to leave myself a full wedge in? I've really got a lot of choices here. Let's try, try to cover that. That actually might not be the worst miss in the world. Hey, Dwayne, we are playing Tiamo by Q in Group H of the TGCT WCOD. And yes, I do have 2020 vision. And that is a great attitude to have, Q. I mean, do what you prefer doing. We'll either like it or we don't. Dwayne coming in nice with the three three cans of garbage. the minus five. Uh, all right, so I think we want to get to the left-hand side of this fairway to open up the angle. far left, though. Um, oopsie. 
right, Tan Man. trying to grind here to avoid what would be a very sloppy bogey. Uh, and then I do that with the putt. Jeez Louise. That was a very indifferently played hole by yours truly from T to green. And I got what I deserved. just looking at this side of the green and <laughs> I know Joe's getting excited by this look I know that has him very excited obviously not a true short because one it's far too long and for two I mean we don't have the thumbprint but that corner there for those who prefer that style is rather sexy And I, for one, though you don't see it a ton at what I do, I do have a soft spark spot for this kind of design. Are we going to make a very fast ace? No. Okay, we did not deserve that result. <laughs> <laughs> not that we're not going to take our two and run, but <laughs> yes, nice miss for sure. Actually, now the more I play this, and, and, and this is going to be a callback for some guys who've been around the franchise for a while. <laughs> hey, Reed. And actually, you'd probably get this. You, you remember Rich Banker? That's more what this Biles Bunker style reminds me of. Some of his courses. Back in the TGC1 days. Uh, there was... Spartan something or other. I'm trying to remember what the courses were, but... This bunker right here that I'm about to go visit, that's what really tripped my mind about that style. Counts for Kenyon. Des Moines Country Club style? Yeah. Oh, Chase. Chase back there. Kenya. I don't know. Q's trying to inch in on your uh, cornered market for burner accounts. I'd keep an eye on him.
to like this little almost punch bully style par 3 here. Alright, take your easy trail. Good luck with that knee. I'm wondering if we can chase it down there from up here. Ah, uh, I'm famous enough. Bye bye. Hey, Wes. Ah, I pushed it. Heard it on an e-scooter. <laughs> uh, uh, that's... I'm not sure I'd go around admitting that or not. <laughs> I'm just trying to picture this. I mean, if it was a souped-up e-scooter, well, then... Well, as you do, but... <laughs> you should see the other guy. Yes, if it was an ungoverned e-scooter, I'm all for it. Alright. Uh... Alright, he's seeing the trail. I'm fairly certain the green had some redan like characteristics. Almost a almost a redan double plateau hybrid here, actually. By the way, I think this is another one where I can kinda Play the slopes to my advantage. Let's see. Relatively useful. Oh, no doubt, Reeb. No doubt. Three Heathland courses, and they have, uh, they were all done in very different ways, for sure. Um, well, yes, you've got me thinking. Was going to leave me with a blind second, but I'm okay with that. Ooh. That is a <laughs> tough target to hit. I 
do believe Q in his um, in his notes, which I shame of me have uh, taken off my browser. I'll need to get him back up here in a second. And I'm pretty sure he tells us not to um, take these things past default. Yeah, default green speed is max. And I, I can definitely see that. 187s here would be an adventure. Well, I'm okay with it being a little right of the hole. It should be it up. <laughs> the 187s are for the platy boys. Because they're, they're the be-all, end-alls on course design, too. Nobody knows course design like a Platinum Tour player. Ah! Straight uphill putt and I can't execute the damn line. I'll say this, Q, I don't know how you're going to shake out in group stage. But I believe you have certainly acquitted yourself well uh, in your first big contest. That is for certain. Nobody can say you didn't belong here, because you absolutely did. Earned a spot in the final Design League qualifier, and have certainly uh, came to play. Imagine this could almost, well, probably not. I was going to say maybe almost drivable in a, in a tailwind, but... Eh. I don't know how frisky I'd want to get there. All right, just a reminder, we will take a quick break to reset the stream when we are done. Uh, we are going to be hopping over to Sendre's course next, Harrier Creek. So make sure to stick around for that. stop in the pool. <laughs> that would be the opposite of filthy backstopping. That would be clean, squeaky clean backstopping. Hey, Herc. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That would have been a mic drop. <laughs> I would have cut the stream right there had that gone in. <laughs> oh, great course, Q. Well done. Tiamo? I certainly give it a play. In Group H, along with Sindre, D Dix, and, and uh, Groby taking a look at the the rest of the courses in that group uh, you 
Usonia Lynx. Groby was the first one in with Usonia Lynx. You've got Taraco Preserve, South Africa by David Dix. And where we're going to be headed next, Harrier Creek by Sendre. Uh, so stick around. Again, we're going to reset the stream here. And we will be heading over to Harrier Creek when we are back following this quick interlude. 